well, we we're going to talk about this at some point, and we're going to get to this album. Hey everybody, Richard Metal Fan here, still continuing the DSI discography, and today I'm unfortunately going to be talking to you about In Torment in Hell, the band's sixth album released in the year 2001 under Roadrunner Records. Now, the, now, the album before that, Incinerate Them, now, now, during this period from 2000 to 2001, I feel like DSI kind, kind of had like a little kind of lull in their career with uh, Incinerate Them, which a lot of people consider that one of DSI's like worst albums or least favorite. For me, it's a decent album. It's not like mind-blowing by any means, but it's a solid album. But here we are with their sixth album, In Torment in Hell. Does this kind of the exceed or the or live do better than incinerate them? To be honest, guys, not really. Like, I just feel like this album was rushed, and I heard like, like from what I saw, saw if I was like doing my research. This album, I heard this album was kind of rushed, and I feel like the production on here definitely shows. Like, it's just very just thin sounding. Um, the guitar work on here. It's just, it's, some songs are good, but I feel like some of the song riffing on here is just kind of, eh, samey, samey. Um, the drumming is pretty, pretty great. I will give it that. Uh, the bass playing is pretty much almost non-existent on this album, in my opinion. Um, I just think, and I think the vocally from Glenn Benton, I just think he, he could have done better on this, um. So yeah, I pretty much rambled on for almost two minutes. So let's sign with this album track by track. Now starting things off is the title track in Torment in Hell, which is just a an okay opener. It just has some basic like, riffs that kind of like feel repetitive a bit. And the drumming on here is pretty solid, but it's a decent opener in my opinion. Um, next up is Christ Don't Care. Now Christ Don't Care, it, this feels like you're just watching some overlong like snooze fest and i feel like you know you you done this album just has gone terribly wrong um next up is vengeance will be mine now vengeance will be mine i feel like it's just an attempt for them to try and sound catchy uh but the riffs on here are just really boring to hear and the drumming was better but it's not like impressing and i don't know it has like weird i like shouting from glenn benton and it, I don't know, it's just <laughs> silly. Um, next song is called Imminent Doom. Now, this has some really kind of thrash metal riffs. Almost kind of sounds a little bit like early Metallica. This is basically like thrash metal with some death growls. Was, um, and then we get to uh, Child of God. Now, I, this song is actually pretty good. It's totally fine. I mean, there could be some moments where it's pretty slow, but I feel like it's straightforward for a death metal song. But it kind of lacks a little bit of, like, grooving, and that permeates the other part of the record, but I get kudos to that. And that's pretty much, the, in my opinion, probably the, the best, of, if not the only song on here. Um, next up, Let It Be Done. Eh, garbage. Just, I think the song is just forgettable, in my opinion. Um, moving on to Worry in the House of Thieves. Now, I feel like this song just drags a lot at a snail's pace. And the riffs itself are pretty standard at absolute best. And all of them sort of like have that kind of like tremolo picking and chugging heard on earlier albums, such as like their best albums like Legion and Once Upon the Cross. And I don't know. It's, yeah. And then last song on here is Lurking Among Us, which eh, I think that song is just, I feel like it, it could have just done better. Now, overall, in Torment and Hell by Deicide, eh, it's not. One, it's definitely not one of their best albums. It's probably one of their worst. And I know a lot of people are, are probably asking me why I have an actual copy of this. Well, I was like trying to get some Deicide albums in my collection at the time. When I was trying to like get m more bands, and I saw this at my local CD store for like a few, two or like three, four bucks. I was like three or four bucks just to own one of the worst death metal albums, which I consider, I consider this kind of like the St. Anger of death metal a little bit, but I would consider that with like Elude, Divinum and Sanus by Morbid Angel. But yeah, I just saw a couple bucks just to own one of my least favorite DSI albums. Why not? <laughs> I mean, look at this. I don't want to like destroy it. I don't want to like 
set it on fire or shoot it with a dynamite. <laughs> I know it feels stupid and it just kind of contradicts everything what I say, but I'm kind of glad I have it. So yeah, that's my review of In Torment and Hell, guys. But I, I'm glad, like, after this album, they would get their shit together and just release better albums and get back on track. So yeah, if I were to give this album a score, I'm going to give In Torment and Hell by Deicide a 3 out of 10. So yeah, that's my review of the album, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.